Hi friends, welcome to Tech Trends. In this video, we can see how to do home automation using Google Assistant. Let's get started. Hey Google, turn on light. Turn off light. Turn on light. Turn off light. The comments required for this experiment are Node MC board, relay, 9 volt battery, breadboard, connecting wires, and a bulb with a 2 pin. First, we need to connect the 9 volt battery to the breadboard. Connect the positive end from the 9 volt battery to one point and the negative pin to the another point. Now we can connect the node MCU board with the power supply. So we need to connect the positive volt from the battery to this V in and the negative pin to the ground. This is a positive wire I am connecting to pin V in. And the negative pin we need to connect with the ground. Now we connected the node MCU board and the power supply. Next one is the relay. The relay has three pins, positive, negative and the signal pin. Like we did for a node MCU board connection, we, can, we need to connect the positive pin to the 5 volt and the negative pin to the ground. I am connecting the positive pin to the plus 5 volt supply and the negative pin to the ground. And connect the signal pin from the relay to pin number D4 in the node MC board. This pin D4. Now we connected the node MCU relay with the power supply. Now we need to connect the bulb with the relay. We need to connect one end of the bulb with the second pin in the relay and connect the other end of the two pin with the first pin in the relay. And connecting the other wire, other end of the wire from the bulb to the second pin in the relay. And connect one, one other end of the bulb with the two pin together. So this is our circuit connection. Now open Google and search Adafruit I.O. Now click on the first result. And here if you don't have account, please create a new account and if you already have an account, click on sign in. Now here enter your username and password and click on sign in button. Now here we can see a new dashboard button. Click on this new dashboard and give any name. I am giving the name as home automation. So this description is optional. If you need, you can enter any name here. Now click create. Now click on this dashboard. And here, go to the settings option and click create a block. Here we need to select this toggle. And here we need to create a feed. I am entering the name, uh, name for the feed as light01. You can enter any name. Now click create. And now select this field and click next step. And here we can enter the name which is optional, block title which is optional. So I am entering the name as light and button on text. So button on text we are giving the value as 1 and for off we are giving the value as 0. And we can check the value by press on the button here. You can see the value is changing in the test value. Now click create block. So we are now controlling only one light and one feed is enough for this one. Now we, we will get the active key and the username from here. So we need to copy this in our program. 
this, this username we need to copy here and the active key we need to copy here and then we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password and also here we need to enter the feed name so the, our feed name is light01 now we need to upload the program to the node mcu board for that go to tools and select the board node mcu and select the port and now click this arrow button and upload the program now the program is uploaded now to control the device through google assistant we need to do few more steps for that go to google and search ifttt and click on the first, first search result and here also we need to create a new account so if you already have an account go to login and enter the username and password the main important thing we need to note is the gmail id which we used for adafruit ifttt and the google assistant should be same now enter the username and password and click on the login button now click create and click this add button in if this click on this add button and search google assistant and select this google assistant and select the first one say a simple phrase here we need to enter the text which we which we want to say to turn the light on so i am giving the text as turn on the light We can give another way of text to give as an input also. So the another text I am giving as tan light on. And here what do you want the assistant to say in response? That means once we give this uh, message the Google assistant will send a response back. For that we can give another one text. Light tan on and select the language as English and click create trigger now here then then that in this case we need to click again add button and again here select Adafruit and send data to Adafruit IO click here and we need to select the feed which we created since we have only one feed this feed is selected automatically here data to save so now we are turning on the light for that we need to give the value as 1 and click create action and click continue and click finish now we created one applet for turn on the light now we need to create one more applet to turn off the light for that again click on create and click add button here and here search google assistant and click on say a simple phrase and here enter the text as turn off the light and another way of text i am giving as turn light off and the response text and light off and the language is English and click create trigger now here in the then condition click add button and select Adafruit and click on this send data to Adafruit IO and here we need to select the same feed and the data to save we need to give zero since we need to turn off the light and click create action now click continue and click finish Now we created two applets, one for turn, off the, turn on the light and another one for turn off the light. Now we can check the output from Google Assistant. Hey Google, turn on light. Turn off light. Turn on light.
and off light